Hey, Happy New Year! <laughs> well, we want to show you our next project. <laughs> How short Sorry. Dawn is. <laughs> we want to show you our next project, but we actually have to go outside to do so. Happy New Year! We are, I think I was really ready for a new year. Were you? Did you even care? Oh no, I absolutely did. The last three weeks of my life have been consistent of end of year taxes. Yeah. So I was all about, let's cut this sucker off so I can be done with this. Yeah, and we don't stay up till midnight. I can't remember the last time we stayed up till midnight. No, we were up till like 10, 15 last night. That was late. That was late. We that was to really that. late. <laughs> Lucky, luckily our kids are still young enough too that they don't even really know that that's a thing because mm. we've been very careful not to let them know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe as they get older we'll all stay up and it'll be fun, but maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> that or maybe, maybe they will stay up and we will go to sleep. Yeah. So this morning we want to show you our new project and yes. Um, <laughs> was it a Christmas morning project? Yeah, was it? Was it? Um, and uh, I want to ask Tom what his word is for the year. I've got a word, but we'll ask Tom what his word is as well. Wait, you you have what? a few minutes to think of it if you haven't got okay. A word of the year? Yeah. So this word is supposed to encompass what the year is to be or what I yeah, want it to be? like a goal word for the okay. year. Okay. All right, you think about it. So I love the comments when it says like, Hey guys, maybe you should finish a project before you start a new you know, one. Maybe you should mind your own business. <laughs> and yes, this is a totally us stalling because we have not finished the boys' bedroom yet. Nope. And uh, this is a project that I started like a month ago. Well, so here's what here's what always happens with our projects is that they're always overlapping because usually there's some kind of Thing, like the weather's gonna change or we have a equipment available to us right now and only right now or right. my dad's available to help and so right. uh, we talked about it just a little bit but um, Tom was helping they were building some berms in the field behind our house mm -hmm. which helps with erosion control makes the fields better and so it ended up being like a couple week project mm -hmm. behind our house Tom was driving dump truck mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had been planning on doing this for like a couple years mm -hmm. but the weather was super nice in late November December mm -hmm. and everybody was done with all the farming stuff so we're like let's knock this out now while we can and so while we were doing that I also have we've we've had this other project that we've been talking about for years that people think we're nuts about which is totally fine we're okay being the weirdos um, and so we thought while we're doing this project, I also need to do this other thing too yeah. to get ready for the big move next year. So let's show you real Which quick. Which is now this year. Yeah. <laughs> so let's show you real quick what this project is that we're talking about. And then we'll show you what we had to do to prepare for it. And again, why it got pushed to the forefront right now. It doesn't even block the sunrise. The sun's way over there. Yeah, it is later <laughs> in the day. All right, so this is the back of our house, which we don't show too often because it's not super pretty. There's uh, no, well, there's nothing really spectacular about it. No, but like this is the kitchen window. Which one's? Yeah, that first one with the, the wood trim. One, the white tall one. Yeah, and so when I look out the kitchen window, this A is what I see. Galvanized shed. And what's so frustrating is so many mornings I can see the sunrise around it, and I'm like, there is such a cool sunrise behind there. Don's dad actually sent me a screenshot he took on his phone yeah. while we were doing a bunch of work back on the field back here yeah. a month ago. He took a picture of the sunrise and he sent it to me and he was like, you guys have the greatest sunrise? And I said, don't you dare send that to Don. <laughs> <laughs> so at first everyone kind of thought we were a little crazy to be like thinking about doing this project. I mean you still might, but that's But okay. I think they're coming around and they're starting to understand a little bit. So we'll show you. So what are the dimensions of this shed, Tom? It is 40 feet by 80 feet. 40 by 80. So With 12 foot sidewalls. Yeah, so it's it's pretty good size. So um, it will take a little <laughs> like... It'll take a little doing to pick it up and move it. Yeah. But you can kind of see then like where it is like there's our big barn and everything and then back here is the view <laughs> but yeah and then so where it's going to go in relation to where we're currently at is behind the play set and like it'll go well, we're going to turn it it'll go this way yep and so it, it will block everything to the north we left one row mm -hmm. of trees 
between the building where the building will be and our yard. Yeah. And then we'll plant two to three rows of trees on the north side of the building. Mm -hmm. So now we're kind of fully committed to moving the building. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Are you still good with that? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's a pretty big hole right here. <laughs> can't really tell on video, but it's pretty good size. <laughs> What's that? It says it's a pretty good size hole right here. You're going to have to well, fill in. Well, yeah, but we got to scrape all the black dirt off the top of here and bring in fill anyway. Oh, okay. So got it. let's get the trees out of the way, scrape all the black dirt off, and then we can get the clay brought in, build the pad, and then cool. call, call it a winter. <laughs> this looks like fun. Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. Are you, are you having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, when I pushed the first couple trees over and the root came with it, I was like, win-win, because otherwise I got to dig all these roots out, so. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, I'll let you get back to work. It's going to get dark here pretty soon. Yeah, you want to watch me push one over? Yeah, let's do it. All these trees were unhealthy, that's oh, why. Oh, they were all growing like this. Yeah, unfortunately, there wasn't any salvage in them, so. No, it's, they, they grew together too closely, and they're, they're all going to eventually fall at some point anyway. So. And we have planted like 300 trees, so we're doing pretty um, good. I think our... we've planted like 425. All right. <laughs> and we're going to plant more next year again. Yeah. So, yeah, no, we uh, we have we have definitely probably put like uh, 20 to 1 for the trees we've yeah. taken down in back in the ground. So, yep. so yeah. All right, let's see it. Does it look like my new shop we're standing in right now? <laughs> <laughs> you have good vision, Tom. Good vision. <laughs> Trees in this, this was row. probably the one of like two healthy trees yeah. out of ten, maybe fifteen. Yeah. And we were we were glad one of our neighbors came over to help um, cut down the trees. Yeah, yeah. He burns firewood for heat, so yep. so that worked out yep. well. It was kind of a rush of like, oh, we got to get these trees out of here because the oh, equipment's was, here. There was there was a few days where I worked from 4 a.m. until 8 p.m. Trying to get all this done before the ground froze. Yeah, the weather was nice and they were here doing it, so it was like we just had to get it done. Yep. But you got it done, and it. And the other thing was that we wanted the, the dirt on the building pad to be able to settle over the winter yeah, yeah. before we yeah. actually brought the building over. Well, we want as much distance between us and the or the, between the loader and the tree as possible. Yeah. So, uh, my father-in-law's cool, but he would not like it if I crushed his loader. So. <laughs> We're gonna get some more length here. Get this thing off to the field. I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely worried right now and and nervous. Did that make you, work? did you make it, make you nervous when it started swaying a little bit there? I was nervous the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And I had my left foot like as hard on the brake as I could. <laughs> I knew you could do it though. <laughs> that was like five and a half minutes of cutting. <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was wild. That's a big tree. You don't realize how big they are until you start until chopping them down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think either of us like cutting down trees, right? Like we've actually no. been working to rebuild our tree right. lines. But when we look at our property, there just weren't a lot of good places. And I'll assure you, this is something we've spent four years we, thinking about. <laughs> we have we have talked and talked and talked about where to put this shed forever. Because it's always setbacks from the property line and uh -huh. blocking views. Like the view yeah, is one yeah. of our favorite things here. 
Yep. Um, and not having everything feel too close together. Yeah. So we put a lot of thought, but mm -hmm. the tree lines, the trees that Tom took out, they just weren't super healthy. They were, yeah, they were choked out. They were getting choked out from each other being planted too close decades and decades ago. Mm -hmm. That or a lot of them were like, like this growing crookedly. Mm -hmm. Um, it still pained me to pull those trees. Like, oh, yeah. I mm -hmm. still did not enjoy that because I thought, I have spent years planting trees and now yeah. I'm taking out trees. Yeah. But it really was the best solution that we could come mm -hmm. up with. And so, and again, like, we're going to be planting tons. Yeah. So we're just kind of rearranging things, but... <laughs> but I think it's going to make a big, a big difference. And it's going to be a lot of work. It is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> because, so the company that will move the building, that is what they will do, is just move it. So they, they take uh, steel I-beams, like monster steel I-beams, 80 feet long. Mm -hmm. They put two of them down the middle of the building. Mm -hmm. And then they take, uh, what did I say? 40 foot mm -hmm. I-beams and they run them crossways. Yeah. And then they, they bolt them to the poles. Yeah. So basically they're building a, a 40 by 80 trailer yeah, inside right. the building. And then they have like dollies with ha which have like semi axles on them. And they roll. <laughs> it sounds so simple. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's like it's what the boys build. Super heavy <laughs> yeah. So they'll roll these, these uh, trailer axles with jacks on them underneath the frame they built. Mm -hmm. And then they'll start the lift. And then we're gonna cut all the poles at the ground level all the way yeah. around. And then they'll just keep jacking it up yeah. until it's off the ground. Yeah. Then they hook a semi to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what they do. Yeah. They'll hook a semi to it. And then they'll roll that beast all the way around all these buildings yeah. and get it in place. Then they'll get it in place. I have to I have to auger, I have to drill all the holes for the new posts. Mm -hmm before they get the building over there. So yep. I gotta get them all in the right spot. <laughs> That'll take quite a Which bit of time and planning. Nervous. Yeah. So. By the way, how cold is it out here this morning? It is so cold. It's like single digits. It's nine degrees. <laughs> it's really cold out. And yes, we will show every step of the way of what Tom's doing. <laughs> so it should be, it should be good. <laughs> so again, because they were working on the berms behind our house and they had all the heavy equipment up mm -hmm. here, and then they were also like digging out clay to use for the berms, mm -hmm. it was the perfect time then to also bring the clay over that Tom needed to right. prepare the building so pad. So I knew that I had to pull the trees, take off like a couple feet of black dirt to get down to the clay and then build it back up with clay to build the pad. And so I knew that I was gonna need clay and I thought, we got it on our property getting harvested mm -hmm. right now. Let's take uh, 50 to 55 loads of it, which is what it ended up being, dump yeah. truck, and uh, building the pad in clay mm -hmm. so that it can settle so that in the springtime we can move the shed. Yeah, and so again, we have family friends that move buildings like that's mm. what they do and so we had him come out and kind of be like okay this is what we want to do mm. this is possible right and he's so, like oh yeah yeah we can do that yeah. yeah so kind of talk through what it would look like and so the hope is actually to do that in the march, very beginning actually, of march actually yeah so sounds like we're gonna move it in march yeah so it's kind of crazy that this i mean something we've been wanting to do i mean since we moved in mm. right um but now it's like okay we gotta do it now <laughs> so but it's me good obviously tom's wanted a shop for a long time um and so eventually we'll put concrete in it and and make it a yeah, finished shop but that won't be a that'll priority. be a ways yep. down the road but it was kind of funny you ran into a, a family member that used to live here and you told them what oh, we were doing yeah. and what did he say when you said yeah, we're thinking about moving the shed. He goes, oh, yeah, blocks of you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, you heard that, huh? Yeah, and it's so funny because, you know, I mean, when this farm was originally built, it was all about productivity and mm -hmm. functionality. And so, yeah, of yeah. course, like, that a blocking of you was not the biggest consideration. No, th back then the consideration for, for the, the farmer who owned this property was do not encroach on, on acreage. Yeah, Like, tillable. do not encroach mm -hmm. on tillable acreage. Yeah. So we get it and we understand yeah. like why it is where it is, yep. but we didn't want to go any further with finishing the inside or making right. it nicer right. if we could right. move it. And some people wonder like, wouldn't it just be cheaper to just build a new building? Yeah. The answer is absolutely not. Mm -hmm. um, I have priced out the, the lumber and the cost of moving the shed and retinning like the bottom section because we're actually going to raise the building. So it's 
It's a 12 foot building right now. It's gonna be 15, we're gonna jack it up three feet. So that extra cost and moving and all that is still, like to do just those things is still like a third, if not a little less than a third what it would cost to build a brand new shed. And we are hoping to live here forever, Lord willing. <laughs> so it, we, so taking a little extra money and effort to kind of make things how we want yeah. them feels worthwhile. And then again, when we lift up our house and put a new basement, um, we actually will, it'll be going more like where this shed is It'll be now. where the shed is So in. we're just, you know, we're just kind of moving Perfect, it. Yeah, yeah. Moving some. And so... Now heading into a new year, so the projects we still have in the works is finishing the boys' room. Yeah. Still, we want to kind of make over the TV room and put our bedroom yeah. in there. Uh, we're still working on the office. Tom's been getting quotes for the heat source that we're going to put in there, which mm -hmm. has it's, been a can of worms. Yeah. Um, and so it's just, there's just always a bunch of stuff. So never any shortage of projects. So we got plenty here. of stuff going on. Yeah. So have you thought of what your word for 2021 oh, is going to be? I didn't even think about it. Um, Finish? Just kidding. Let's not even set ourselves I, I up would, for failure. I would never <laughs> use that as my word of the year. So I think the uh, word of the year is freedom. Really? Mm -hmm. That's actually Catherine from Dude on a Dime's word. Really? Yeah. No, I think when you when you asked me, first off, it caught me off guard. I don't like being caught off guard. <laughs> but I thought... That's good. It gets the freedom. truest reaction then, you yeah. know, when you haven't had too much time to think about it. And yeah. what, what will that look like? How will you know at the end of the year? Like, what's your, like, vision for that? Oh, man. You, what? Okay, Why that's fine. <laughs> I won't put you on the spot anymore. Uh, my word is progress. Because okay. I feel like we had a lot of transitions last year with all of us being home and homeschooling. Mm -hmm. And I'm usually the type of like, if I'm going to start something new, I just want to like go all in and make it really good. And I, That's I don't why feel we're like such a good anything. Team. We both like, do that. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like a lot of new things started, but I didn't get them all like to where I'd want them to be. And so I'm, I'm thinking this year, if I can just make progress in these areas, then that'll be good. It's kind of a weak word for the year, you think? I mean, You're mine's telling me my freedom. word's not good? Mine's freedom. <laughs> Yours is like, oh, I'd like to make some brown cakes. <laughs> is the bar too low? Like, <laughs> meh. Come on, Don, shoot higher. <laughs> Perfection, Don's yeah. shooting former. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not even generally one to it's make a word. It's the first of the year. So, yeah. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, so. But we do want to mention our course, Take Your House Back, if you want to make some progress in your house. Um, it's really cool. And and like we've said, I'm really proud of it. We're all really proud of it, Cass and Dana and I. And I just feel like I was even just last night, I saw this thing about like how to simplify your house. And it was just like, declutter your closet, declutter your kitchen. And I'm like, well, that's so easy to say, but how do we actually do it? And so. And how do we do it if it's if we haven't succeeded in the past? And so I just feel like it is such practical and achievable tactics to actually get your house under control this year. So I actually am a big advocate of not selling people on things. Mm -hmm. And so some of the sales stuff is kind of like not felt super awesome to me. Yeah. Not that, I just yeah. I want people to genuinely it. want something, not be pushed or felt manipulated to get it. Yeah. Good. But you yep, guys, I, I was so I've listened. <laughs> I've li you know not that I'm not saying you've done any of that, <laughs> but so I have. Uh, I've listened to all of you guys' things over the last week, and what stuck out to me, what resonated, I feel like all of my spaces get to be like so much clutter. I think Dana was saying something about how like that was her. Like her thing was she just had stuff everywhere and it was so stressful like the thought of pulling it all apart and then trying to decide what do you do with everything. And so some of the things you guys talked about, I was like, hmm, I know that like I kind of get free access to the course. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I was wondering if you would help me um, go through the course with the shop stuff in mind. Oh, Because that would there be is a lot of things. <laughs> like, I love being organized. Yep. I love being super neat. But because we juggle projects, like, mm -hmm. my brain just gets all jumbled. And then I get stressed. And then my stuff just gets piled. 
because I'm just running from fire to fire. It's when you go back to those cluttered spaces, like having a game plan, uh -huh. right? Because if it's just like, oh, Tom, go declutter your workbench, it's it's overwhelming, right? Mm -hmm. And so many of us just get kind of like paralyzed, but it's all so hard. And so a real right. game plan for breaking it down, I would love to help you with that now okay. using Dana's So method. the other thing that I thought of, so Dana had said something like, uh, if you have like two items, I'm totally botching what she said. <laughs> she had like two of the same items and like, or it was something along the lines of, she would think like, where is this thing? Mm -hmm. Well, that is my problem. Oh yeah, the is first decluttering question. Yes. If I needed this, where would it be? Where would I think to look for it? So that really resonated with me because I waste a lot of time looking, trying <laughs> to find tools or materials. Yeah. I know I have. Yeah. All right, well, let's do it in the new year. We will help Tom go through the how to declutter without making a mess on some of your different areas. And it really isn't as simple sometimes as, well, every, a home for everything and everything in its place, right? Like we need we need a little more help than just that, right? Right, so. because you run into the categories of stuff where it's like, well, this doesn't fit with yeah, anything. Yeah, exactly. But. Yep. Uh, you can find all the details down below for the course. We have a $20 off code that expires Sunday night at midnight. So we hope you can get in before that, which makes the course $79 uh, in US money. And so again, all those details are down below. We'd love to see you in there, but if not, it's okay. Like we're still gonna keep doing this. We're gonna keep doing all of our YouTube videos. Anyway, we, we're we so grateful for you and we hope you have a really good, great new year. Um, I hope it, it looks hopeful. Actually, hope would be my other word. Maybe hope would be better than progress. <laughs> that is a better word. That progress. is a better word. Would that, would you? <laughs> Freedom and hope. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, but we hope that it looks, we hope, but we do hope that <laughs> it, the there. new year looks bright to you right now. We believe in you. We know you can get your house decluttered. We know that you can make some gentle changes if that's your goal too, but uh, but just so grateful for you to have you uh, cheering us on, questioning our sanity and our projects. It's fun. We love your comments mm -hmm. and stuff too. So, but we really do hope you have a, a great new year. Yep. I think we're gonna use a new a new goodbye for the year. Oh, okay. Bye. Uh, <laughs> no. I don't know if I like that one. Really? No. Oh, all right. Do you want to try again? Um, no. Do you need to think about it a little bit? No, I've been thinking about oh, it. Oh shoot! And that was it. You all just right. shot me down. Um. First day of the year. Maybe freedom's <laughs> not my word. <laughs> bye bye.